being a programmer is probably the best profession today and I'm gonna show you why in just a second. When I decided I wanted to become a programmer 10 years ago, I thought I would never make it. But here I am now, over a decade later, ready to pass on my wisdom to you guys and help you out by showing you the best possible way to learn programming as fast and as efficient as possible. In this video I will answer the question of how to become a successful high paid software engineer in less than 100 days with no degree and no programming experience at all. I know the frustration and the dilemmas of is programming for me? Do I need a computer science degree? Shouldn't I have an IT background? Or where do I even begin from? Well let me stop you right there. I spent countless hours researching and evaluating all the different methods and ways of how someone can become a software engineer and my findings were actually pretty interesting. Keep watching because I'm sure you will have the same thoughts by the end of this video. I'm also going to reveal some of the best, most legit resources and shortcuts to achieve that and I will also share with you a top secret that every successful software engineer is hiding from the world. I'm going to provide a lot of information on this video so feel free to skip to the section that interests you the most. I will leave timestamps in the description below, next to the subscribe button. Let's dive right into it. First things first, why software engineering? High demand job. It is being said that by 2030, the demand for software engineers will increase approximately by 22%. That's a freaking huge amount. Flexible locations and working hours. Most companies have the benefit of giving great flexibility when it comes to working hours and location for their programmers. Creative job satisfaction. As programmers, we enjoy the process of creating and solving problems. High salaries. Even for junior and internship positions, the salary can be twice as high comparing to the average salary. And that's not only applicable to the US. Impact. Software engineering has the potential to make a positive impact on society. Software engineers create products and solutions that can improve people's lives, make businesses more efficient, and help solve global problems. You don't need a college degree or any kind of certificate in order to become a high paid software engineer. Now let's see what the requirements are. Willing to learn and always willing to improve your coding skills as coding is not something with an ending point. You can always learn more. Passion and motivation. These will hopefully come along the way. If it's meant to be, they will come along the way. Patience. As a software engineer, you will need a lot of patience when debugging and thinking about solutions. But the learning curve is not always easy, so you must trust the process and show some patience. A computer with internet. We will discuss about PC requirements on another video, but what you currently have, I'm pretty sure is more than enough to get you started. Now, what you don't need. Prior knowledge of programming, negative attitude, and a computer science degree. You definitely don't need this one. In fact, some of the best software engineers have no college degree at all. Now let's see the steps of how you can actually become a software engineer. Step number one. First of all, you should have in mind what it is that you want to program. Is it a website? Is it an app? Is it the hardware that you want to program and see it function in real life? By identifying that, you're setting some targets that you will be more likely to commit to achieving them and it will be easier for you to decide what roadmap to follow in the future and align your learning path towards that. Step number two, learning the basics of programming. Start by learning a programming language. Just pick one and start. My suggestions would be either Python or JavaScript. You can learn the basics of programming through online free courses on YouTube, or if you want to spend that extra 10 or 20 bucks, you can buy a full course on Udemy, Pluralsight, or Codecademy. For the old school buddies, there are plenty of good books that teach everything you need to know in order to start. By the end of this video, I will share with you some very good courses that will get you started right away. Stick around. I'm also planning to release my own courses, so you might want to stick around for that. Step number three. Practice, practice, practice. I can't stress that enough since it's the most important step of learning programming. It is very crucial to get your hands dirty when it comes to coding. The online courses I will suggest have well-structured exercises that will help you apply what you learn as you proceed with them. Step number four, create a website or an online portfolio. You can either build your own website or use behance.com to showcase your skills and experience. This can be done by building your own projects, contributing to open source projects, or participating in coding competitions and then share the results on your portfolio. Step number five, gaining some experience. Look for freelancing opportunities, internships, or entry-level jobs to gain hands-on experience in software engineering. This will help you learn from experienced professionals, build your network, and gain exposure to the industry. Now, the next step is where the fun begins. 
how to actually land your first software engineering job. Assuming that you have gained some coding experience and feel confident with the programming language of your choice, here are some useful tips to help you land your first job. Ideally, you have a nice portfolio with three to five high quality projects. You can find many high quality projects on my channel. Feel free to get inspiration from them and give them your own spin, but for sure, don't just copy the code, never. Once you have your portfolio ready, you can start searching for jobs online. You can try LinkedIn jobs, circular.io, weworkremotely.com, indeed.com. There are many, many websites that post on a daily basis, new jobs and new opportunities for software engineers. Now, don't be afraid of rejection. Rejection happens all the time. Even the best software engineers gets rejected. Remember, it only takes one offer to change your whole life. I remember it took me more than 20 or 25 interviews before I land my first job. So be strong, be patient, and learn to accept rejection. Now, a good tip that I like to give to people that are just starting out is try before you're ready. Now, you will never be 100% ready to start applying. So you should start applying once you get some confidence and you have your basic portfolio ready. I have a lot of information and tips to provide to you when building your CV, but we will talk about that on a separate video. Let me know in the comments below if you would be interested in such a video. Now, the moment you've been all waiting for, it's time to reveal the secret that most software engineers are hiding from the world. No one, and literally no one knows everything and no one is perfect. Most software engineers fake it until they make it. Once they build confidence on a programming language, they apply to high paying jobs that require more experience than what they have. And once they successfully get the job, then they learn what they need to know in order to fit their current role. I, I know, I know you might ask, Pete, what the heck are you talking about? How are they going to get the job by lying? As I mentioned earlier, confidence is key. If you show in the interview that you're willing to learn and you have good vibes, shockingly many companies will give you the shot even if you don't fully meet their requirements. If it is a good company, they will invest in you and they will give you the time to evolve inside the company. Remember that. We're getting closer to the end of this video, so I want to share with you the courses I promised earlier. Now, some of the best free resources that can help you in the beginning of your journey are the following. Programming with Mosh, he is an amazing YouTuber. I've been following him for a long, long time. I've learned a lot of things from him and I 1000% guarantee that he will help you a lot. Now, another free amazing resource is freecodecamp.org YouTube channel. Now, as for the paid and subscription-based courses, I would recommend the following. Codecademy.com, they have a lot of exercises for you to do while you proceed with the course, and I really believe that will cover you 100%. Another really good course is JavaScript for Beginners Learn by Doing Practical Exercises by Edwin Diaz on Udemy. Now, I want to thank you for sticking to the end of this video, and I would like to let you know that we just landed our Discord server where you can find a lot of information about programming you can get information on courses and other stuff and get updates for my channel now i would like to ask you to give the video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and stick around because i have many more videos coming up thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one